Rob, one thing that's probably slipped under the radar a little bit is, is the Bucks win for the university, and I know our close link-ups with, <coughs> with the guys, including not just players, but coaches and the like, has yeah. been fantastic. You, you're chuffed to bits to see oh, what happened, it's happening. I mean, you know, we, we've we spent a lot of time as a club trying to keep, kind of make this pathway work, and, and I can't give you know, Keith Fleming enough credit for the programme that he's put together and created at, at the university. And to win two in a row, it takes something special, especially when you think in a programme where you do have a rotation of players, you know, they, you, you do have to lose players every year. And so to, to win year on year or to be there or thereabouts year on year is, is an incredible achievement. But I think the, the two guys I really like to, because obviously I work with them every day, really like to give a lot of credit to is obviously Hayden Thomas um, and Gareth Elliott. You know, I think people probably don't understand some of these guys, they, they kind of work full time here at the club. And then they almost do the similar thing at the university as well. You know, they, they kind of are very driven around how the training sessions are run, how they're put together, how they then deliver them, how they uh, analyse them afterwards, how they develop the sides, you know, what Gareth's doing with the forwards, what Hayden's doing across the, the backs and with the team, defence, etc. You know, they're a, high, they're a high quality coaching pair, you know, and ali aligned with Rich Hodge over there and aligned with what Keith wants to do. And obviously, I think Nick Cessary now is di uh, deeply embedded with the freshers over there in his coaching role there. You know, that's a, that's a group of guys who are doing some extremely good work. And I think sometimes they're probably the guys who get less credit than everybody else because they're not, not really seen as the head guys at the uni. They're not seen as the head coaches is here. But in reality, they're kind of lead coaches in both, uh, in both parts, in some of the areas here at the club and obviously when they go to the uni. And to combine you know, that work across two clubs um, is fantastic. You know, alongside the work they do with the senior academy, both at the uni um, and around here at the club, you know, they're, they're two guys who got fantastic work ethic and I'm delighted for them. You know, it, it's almost more enjoyable to watch them be able to celebrate something than anything else because you see them every day. Um, and alongside that, you know, watching what those guys do to keep that pathway open. I know Hayden in particular, his last two, three months, you know, he's, he's, almost, he's almost been like a, an irritating fly, the amount of good players he's brought to my attention who might potentially become to extra university when we've investigated them are going to be very good investments for us for the future you know there's a there's a really good strong program there based around those two guys and i think it's really important they get the credit they deserve french media came here the other week and they were kind of shocked at how this can happen mm. in, in english rugby because in france they just buy big mm. they don't develop really internally but this for you is a huge development tool to to get a future squad in place isn't it well, I think it's really important because I think it. I, I think what I like to describe the extra university as a bit like a finishing, a finishing school almost for the academy. That's why we we like as many of our academy players to, to take this pathway as possible. Not and it's not just because we're not just trying to say to everybody it's the only pathway. Don't get me wrong, it's not. It's the university is not a pathway for everybody. But if you look at the benefits of a top class education at a very good university alongside a very good rugby program, but alongside there's a lot of life opportunities and life skills. You know, I encourage all the guys to, to live in halls. I don't, don't want them really here in the, in the hotel or in academy houses. Get in halls, meet different people, so, you know, have different experiences. Yes, by all means, you come here, you train, you do have stuff, but have these other things in your life because by the time you come out 21, 22, you're kind of a more rounded person. You've had a great experience through a, through a very good rugby programme. You might well have broken through here, you know, as, as Daffid and Chris have in particular. You know, you think, you know, that year, they, Daffod and Chris could have both been playing in Bucks rugby. Da Chris Daff could still be doing it next year. You know, they've broken through here. They don't play any rugby at uni anymore. Mm. You know, but I think it's such, because it's such, but it's such a good development tool and such a good pathway that you're, we're seeing the benefits as a club. Um, and 100% of the uni university has seen the benefits of a strongly aligned programme. Equally, as you said, Daff, Chris, Sam Skinner before that, there's, if there's a young player that can now go, oh, I'm going to go to university at Exeter, They've gone on to become test players, test match rugby players. They have, but even even right now, you look like Tom Curran scored the final try against the Stormers just a few weeks ago. He came on and was instrumental in winning the final, coming off the bench for the university just a week ago. Yeah. You know, it's happening now. You know, you know, you feel sorry for the uni, really. You know, we've got we've got young Will Beckersall here. He's starting for us at the moment. Well, really, he should be in the university team. They're not getting they're not getting a look in. You know, it's. It's, it's fantastic for us, those guys, you know, there's a couple of really good players there who I can probably envisage playing a lot of rugby here next season already, who we still have a year or two left at uni. Um, and I just think it's, it's gonna be a really important thing for us to get right. And as I said, that's why I think it's really important to give the guys the credit who are 
who are kind of driving that really driving the link i mean keith and i obviously we've we've helped forge the link to start with but the guys who are really making it workable right here and now are guys like like gareth and, and hey you talk about beckinsall and cairns so they're just one of about 12 new players that you've announced as yeah. new deals how excited are you now that your makeup of your squad is coming together you've got senior guys with woodburn mm -hmm. yendall in our people like that but also these young youngsters beckinsall cairns Kenny, Southworth, White, yeah. those guys, all hanging about the place. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited about I think we've addressed some issues. First and foremost, I think we've addressed some issues that have hurt us this season. So I think people will probably be aware that our scrum is starting to settle down now and is starting to produce for us. That's, I don't mind saying that's been, a trouble, that's been a problem for us this season. Like I say, particularly away from home, we've probably lost two, three games, two, three important games based around we couldn't really get control in that area. That's changing, for, for some through personnel. Some also through that we've had a big focus on it for a number of for a number of weeks now, months even, and that's really starting to pay some dividends. Um, and so you look at who's here. If you, if you look at our Luce combination, you know, you know, Alec Burn, Nick Abbott, uh, Scott Co, those, those three guys, that's high quality Luce. We can start to we can start to count, count on a regular basis. You know, especially if we can avoid injury, and we've, we've been hurting that way as well. Um, Streety back now playing. Getting valuable game time, improving all the time, being backed up by an ever improving Josh or so for Scott. You know, Pat Schickling, we're obviously going to try and get him back on the on the pathway he was on previously. You know, we've got some good and we've got some good, good young tight heads around as well. You know, Finn Richardson coming up through from the university is injury free now and starting to improve. Got Matt Johnson down at the Cornish Pirates. You know, things are there, things are kind of ticking along. Will we will we move will be moving forward? And obviously we haven't even seen Aaron Painter yet. Yeah. You know, he's he's recovering now from this bicep injury. He'll be starting having done a full pre-season, ready to go. You know, we've, we've addressed a few things there, you know, around that. And that, that backed up by a front five that I think will be ever improving. You know, with Daft, with Johnny Gray, with Jack, Jack Dunn will be an improved player, having spent time here. You know, you start, we've got a couple of good young locks coming through the academy. We, we may well still recruit another lock. Back row is, is probably thicker than people really think. It's just we haven't had Jacques Vermeulen, we haven't had Richard Capstick. We just we just, just have we just don't have them. Yeah. You know, Greg's back. We should be back from injury now. You know, and he had a, he was a guy with real potential. Ethan Roots looks a guy with real potential coming in. You know, if you put that pack together and, and across a first second choice, um, and we're, we're fairly fortunate with injuries. You know, it's a pack that should be competitive in every single game, and especially if we can nail down our set piece side of things, that will give you know young half backs a chance to go. It'll give Harvey or Will Hayden Wood, who's at ten, it'll give him a real chance to control the game. You know, if Woody can hold his form, you know, he's a great winger. You know, we're looking at how well Josh Hodges performed at times this season, how Tommy Wyatt's coming through. You know, we, we actually have, you know, quite quite a lot of options. You know, we've got a young Wells, current Wells centre coming in the midfield, alongside Henry. You know, if you actually piece the fifteen together, it just starts to feel pretty exciting. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to we've got to piece the team together on the field, it's exciting and vibrant and works hard for each other and you know it, it, will, it will be a fun year next year.